Hello developers, welcome back to FIFA Lab and this is a brand new uh, video series on JavaScript and uh, this is not going to be any traditional JavaScript course or crash course uh, from start so it's kind of funny, interesting and advanced kind of JavaScript uh, series and I will keep adding um, every day so or maybe I will keep adding videos on JavaScript that you can always try to get uh, try to learn something new so I will be adding lots of funny JavaScript that uh, that are not used so much or so frequently in any of your projects so I saw many developers including my team and any other so are pretty much used to using a normal way uh, so let's try to uh, uh, get started with this JavaScript uh, new course and yes, uh, always try to, if, if you are not subscribed, then go ahead, subscribe to this channel and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell, okay? Because I will be eating lots of cool, funny, interesting videos on programming and development, uh, okay? So if you um, hit the notification bell, you know what, you will get be notified, you will be notified, okay? So no more introduction, let's go into the business uh, right now, okay? So what is today's menu? So today I'm going to show you something about a uh, variable assignment, variable declaration, and maybe the uh, condition. Okay, and then this way from uh, simple to advanced world, I will jump into advanced world, including uh, classes and a lot of other things. Okay, so yeah, so I have a Node.js environment set up and with Quokka.js, so you can see the real time update with your Quokka. So let's see. I don't know how to spell it, so it is kind of uh, key, key, uh, key, key. Okay, you know what I mean. So yeah, Quokka this. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is what I'm using for real time update. Okay, so let's get started. So we can say let okay, define some variable. Let a equal uh, twenty. Okay, and uh, normally what we do in a traditional website uh, or any kind of project, so we do declare uh, b equal thirty and c equal. Uh, 40 like this okay so we declare this way but we can uh, we can declare this way as well without using multiple that or var variable and we can definitely declare just like this variable at once or in one line you can declare in just one line okay and if you do the console console dot log c you will get the result 40 okay so this is uh, this is one way of declaring variable. I hope you got it. And let's say one of the interesting things. Let's say you have the you have a equal a equal twenty, and let's say you want to declare b variable based on a. So you can see uh, you could uh, you can see b equal. So you can see let b equal uh, a or you can say you. Uh, do not have any values okay so that mean um, we can say if a is uh, assigned or if we have a then assign a to b otherwise assign this string to it okay so we can check it in website like if we have any products or if you have any stock we can check like that so yep that's a very shorthand and we can say okay what is the b here now so you can see b is 20 now for example let's say a is null what do you get? You don't have any values. Let's say a is uh, empty. What do you get? So empty is actually uh, some kind of value. So you will get. Uh, um, sorry, empty is also not a value. Sorry. So here, if you get, if you have undefined, a is undefined. So apparently, a is undefined. If you, if I log a, so you will get undefined. So if it, if it undefined, you will get the other value. Okay. But in case if you have a equal some real value so you get a, you get what i mean so this is kind of a uh, uh, shorthand circuit assignment and let's say another thing which is um, interesting you can say a equal 20 let b equal 30 let c equal 40 or 50 or whatever okay now if we say let d equal a and if you don't have a value on a so you can take the value from b if you don't have value from B, then take C, okay? And we can console.log D, okay? So you get 20. Now, let's say A has null, so then it will get the uh, get the value of B, 30. And let's say B equal, sorry, let's say B is undefined, you get C, okay? Now, let's see interesting is C equal, then you get nothing, you get empty, right? So you don't have any values. 
but let's say we equal 50 you get 50 so empty now undefined whatever is not you get the uh, last values okay so this is a very shortcut so I hope you uh, get the point what I'm, I'm trying to explain now let's talk about conditions so what what we do in condition we most of the time we write if a then we write this way okay and then sometimes we write evils okay and in other cases with if else condition we write uh, we write this way uh, else if and then we write else maybe I need to give a space okay else if okay we do kind of things like this but you can make it a really shortcut so how do we do that so let's say your a is 20 then uh, we can say let b we can assign a variable let a uh, let b equal if a is greater than 20 print a is greater than 20 or we can say uh, a is smaller than 20 perfect right so we have a question mark to place here and sorry this is how it is uh, it should be written okay now if I do the console.log b what do I get a is smaller than 20 now if I increase the value to zero a is greater than 20 now what if you want to uh, get uh, a is uh, um, uh, equal okay so now if you want to get another condition like else if condition this is how you can do it uh, you can place and the colon and then you can say you no know, uh, if a uh, equal equal 20 then say a is equal to 20 okay see I can have many conditions placed in just one line and it kind of save a lot of time from you and uh, you get a lot of benefits out there okay so you see um, if I change it this way it works and if I change it to one it's not okay so guys I hope you understand what kind of series I'm going to cover you are going to get a lot of JavaScript funny videos uh, and interesting tricks, uh, tips and tricks. Please like, subscribe, and comment your valuable feedback. And uh, those who are who already knows this kind of stuff, please uh, uh, suggest us much more your knowledge. Uh, and you can join our Facebook group for any help regarding development and uh, or any tips if you are already an advanced developer. Thank you so much. Have a nice time. Take care.